Hey folks, I'm Chris and I'm your Commander Mechanic. Phyrexia All Will Be One is here, a brand new set with a brand new batch of cards that are going to run amok on Commander. And we've got a bunch of really impactful new cards to play with. But if you want to pick up any of the cards from Phyrexia All Will Be One, be sure to check out my affiliate at Harry Tarantula. Use the promo code CMDR5 for 5% off your first order or CMDR Mechanic to help support the channel. To begin with, some honorable mentions, starting with Lux Artillery. I am in love with this card, giving artifact creatures sunburst, letting you cast them with colored mana to make them larger, but more importantly, creating a clock on the game if you have 30 counters across creatures and artifacts you control. 10 damage to each opponent, each of your turns, is huge, and I've highlighted at least one way to enable this with just one card, short linked up top. I can't wait to do some brewing with this new toy. My second honorable mention is Synthesis Pod. What's being hailed as the birthing pod for spells, it turns your spells into your opponent's spells, all potentially for a single mana. You do have to cast the original spell though, but the Phyrexian mana in the activation cost of this artifact helps a lot. There's some cool things you can do casting a small throwaway spell and hoping to spin it into something your opponents have in their deck. Look for this to be attempted in competitive EDH too, as it's relatively easy to steal an opponent's ad nauseum from within their own library. For dishonorable mentions, I want to express my dissatisfaction with the Phyrexian Walkers. Not that they aren't well designed, not that the art isn't cool in mirroring some of their pre-completion cards, but I feel like the story beat is largely unnecessary, and losing characters to the dark side like this is a cheap story beat that many feel is just going to be undone with some timey-wimey wibbly-wobbly stuff. It feels disingenuous. You know what's cheap and easy? Hitting that subscribe button. In fact, it's free. Liking my videos, subscribing, sharing, and even hitting the bell are all free ways you can really help me make more awesome content for you. Be a part of the crew and hit that subscribe button. All right, let's look at our top cards of the set, starting with Scheming Aspirin. This Phyrexian Advisor is a two mana one three, the best creature size, and it seems pretty simple. It's a payoff for proliferation by draining your opponents for two every time you proliferate. On the surface, this may seem not worthwhile, but we just received dozens of new cards that proliferate, many useful across decks and archetypes, like the new Glistening Sphere or Tekuthal Inquiry Dominus. The Aspirant comes down early enough that this could be draining 6 plus life from opponents by turn 4 or 5, and late game can be triggering several times a turn thanks to repeated sources of proliferation like Contagion Class or Grateful Apparition. There are a lot of potential decks that could be running this alongside Flux Channeler or an Evolution Sage, turning the Aspirant into a legitimate win con. It's worth grabbing a copy to put in decks that care about proliferation, for sure. Next up is Prologue to Phyresis. A common 2 mana instant, this card is simple and elegant. Each opponent gets a poison counter and you draw a card. So what makes it so powerful? Well, this is a win condition if you can copy and or cast it enough times. This pops off 10 times and you knock out all opponents at once with poison. Storm decks, specifically storm decks that look to use Krark the Thumbless or Kalamax the Stormsire, can easily cast, copy, and recast this enough time to crank up poison counters to 10 within just a few turns. Get this humming with a Thousand Year Storm or an Arcane Bombardment and watch as you turn the clock on a game way up. I feel this card would have been good without can tripping, but the fact that it replaces itself too, it is such a solid common. Don't toss it away with the rest of your chaff. Now for a neat rare in Encroaching Mycosynth. This 4 mana artifact is a mini personalized Mycosynth lattice, turning your permanents, spells, and cards in your library and graveyard all into artifacts. Now this does take some of the sting out of a regular Mycosynth Lattice, which is largely used in Commander to create locks by turning your opponent's artifacts off with a Karn the Great Creator, or blowing them all up with a Vandal Blast. But only affecting you means it can be a lot cheaper, come down earlier, and do some cool things. 
Namely, by not turning your lands into artifacts, it's not quite as backbreaking for yourself as a Mycosynth Lattice could be either, which is a big upside. But being able to ramp affinity creatures like Thought Monitor way up is fantastic, and enabling combos with the already good Sharoom the Hegemon means this is going to fit in quite a few existing builds. Add in things that sacrifice artifacts like a Time Sieve, or cards that copy artifacts like a Sahili Sublime Artificer, and you've got a stellar combo enabler waiting to happen. Just be careful, if your opponents are playing a Dockside Extortionist, this can backfire in a big way. Also on my list, for a very good reason, is Mondrak Glory Dominus. Mark my words, Mondrak is going to be the most expensive card in the set in a year. Pick it up as low as you can, because this bad boy is an anointed procession that can attack, block, and become indestructible. Anointed procession has been a highly sought after and expensive card since its printing, and shows no signs of stopping unless reprinted into the ground, so Mondrak will be doubly so. I wouldn't expect this legendary Phyrexian horror to ever be reprinted due to its setting and mechanics specifically. And if pricing trends like Doubling Season or Parallel Lives shows us anything, it's that this effect is what everyone wants in Commander, and comes on scant few cards that they're always in demand. If you can get your hands on this at a pre-release, you've hit the jackpot. It is cash money. And at number one on my list is All Will Be One. The set's titular card, this red enchantment is going to break Commander for a little while, I am certain of it. For 5 mana, it's easy enough when you put counters on something, you get to blast an opponent, creature, or planeswalker for that much damage. Seems pretty harmless, right? Wrong! There are multiple 2 card combos with All Will Be One, many of which are in mono red. From War Elemental, my short on the combo linked up top, to the Red Terror from Warhammer 40k, which can be your commander in this deck. Blitzing to these combos is going to make a serious impact. Think of it like Godo Bandit Warlord in CEDH. The goal is to race to enough mana to cast Godo and get a Helm of the Host on him to make infinite turns. But with All Will Be One, all you need to do is cast a Talon of Pain or a Quest for Pure Flame, then all will be won, and the moment you deal any kind of damage, you start a loop that takes all of your opponents out. This is the Exquisite Blood Sanguine Bond combo, except in red, and costs less mana overall. I'm expecting All Will Be One to be up there in terms of chase cards in the set, and a much discussed issue around tables for a while to come as well. So what do you think of the set now that we've got the full reveal? Will you be attending a pre-release this weekend? Let me know in the comments what your favorite card from the set is too. Also, be sure to check out my affiliate Harry Tarantula for all of your singles and sealed product, and my friends at Moxfield for access to the best deck building platform in the world. Follow my profile while you're there too. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and as always folks, good luck and have fun.